In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for an account and manage your settings with You Can Book Me, a free online calendar that allows patrons to book an appointment with you that aligns perfectly with your BC Google Calendar. We'll begin at youcanbook.me. We'll click Sign Up. You have several options to sign up, including signing up with an email address. Because we want this to integrate with your BC Google Calendar, we're going to choose Sign Up with Google. You can choose which Google account you would like this to be linked to. You should choose your BC account. Because I already have an account with my BC email, I'm going to choose a demonstration email address that is also at Gmail. It's going to ask for permission to access your calendar, which is really essential for the function of this website. It's going to block off time when you already have commitments in your calendar and seamlessly add appointments to your calendar as they are booked. So we are going to click Allow. You Can Book Me will now ask for some information about you. You can add Boston College as your company name, and then you need to indicate a field as your role. So I chose education and university slash college. We'll agree to the terms and click continue. And now it's time to set up our first booking page. The booking page is the website where students and faculty will be able to access your calendar and book an appointment. As an example, this is my current research calendar, jessicahinsonwilliams.youcanbook.me and students are able to click an appointment slot and book a time to meet with me. So we'll set up our landing page as well. The first piece of information you'll need to provide is the title for your page. Mine says Research Appointments with Jessica because I almost exclusively meet with students, but you can choose whatever works for you. I'll just write Research Appointments. And you'll also need to choose a URL for your page. Because this is how most folks will end up at your calendar, you'll want to make this specific and probably fairly memorable. My BC account is just jessicahinsonwilliams.youcanbook.me. You can choose anything you'd like, but I would recommend it have something to do with your name. And then we'll create our page. This is your dashboard, which is what you'll see every time you log in at youcanbook.me. The first thing that you can do is edit your settings. We'll skip the walkthrough. On the right side of the page is the preview of what your booking calendar looks like right now. As you make changes to your settings, they'll be automatically reflected in the preview. We'll begin at General. Again, you can change the title of your page and your booking page URL. You can also add information that appears directly below the title. I like to add something about my email address in case students find that there isn't a slot that works for them. And it will automatically save your changes and they'll be reflected over here in the preview. We can also double check under Calendar and Teams that this is linked with our BC calendar. Again, this is just a demonstration email address, but this should reflect your BC email address here so that appointments are only reflecting the times that you are available. For example, under this email address, I've blocked off some time in my calendar when I'm unavailable for appointments. You can also set up your times and availability in the settings. Under availability, you can click edit to change your working hours and days. For example, you might like to remove Saturday and Sunday or any other day upon which you won't be available at all. Under each of the days that you are available, you can edit your available hours for example, 9 to 4 p.m. You can copy these to all days, or you can individually edit days. For example, if you have one evening that you have an evening commitment that makes you leave earlier than others, you can leave that as different from the other days. You can also add a break, which will apply to all of the days that you have availability for. For example, if you'd like to take lunch from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. every day and don't want to be booked during that time, you can add that information and it will be reflected in your calendar. So as we can see over here, I do not have any 12 p.m. appointments because I will be taking lunch. You can also change the appointment duration in the settings. The automatic setting is for one hour appointments 
And with the free account, you have a 14-day trial of the Pro. You can go up to, I believe, two hours. Hopefully we won't need three hour or 24 hour appointments, but you can change your settings so that the appointments are of a specific duration. So as we can see on the right, it is updated and now these are 30 minute appointments. You can also change how much notice you'd like to receive for appointment bookings. For example, if you only want appointment bookings with 24 hours notice, you can change that here and patrons will not have any access to appointments that are fewer than 24 hours in advance. You can also decide how far in advance you'd like to be booked. For example, you can set 14 days and patrons can only access your appointment calendar for the next two weeks. All of these changes save automatically and are reflected in the preview. Appointment types is a pro feature that we don't have access to and the language and time zones should be automatically set from your Google account. We also have the ability to edit the booking form, which is what patrons will see when they select an appointment. For example, under my research appointment calendar, if someone wanted to meet Monday at 9 a.m., they would click that button and they would be redirected to the booking form, which would ask them for some information that would be helpful to me. For example, I only meet with FWS students, so I ask for their FWS instructor's name. You can indicate any information that you'd like. First name, last name, and email are already added here for you, and you can delete anything but email, but you can also add a question, and you have several options, including short answer, multiple choice. You might ask, what is your major? And you have the ability to make this a required question if this is essential information for the booking. You could also add a question, for example, that is multiple choice, asking the patron, how would you like to meet. And you could add something like Zoom, Google Meet, or add any other options that you're offering, such as Skype. And then you can save these changes. And again, they'll be reflected on the preview and you can see what the patron will see. You can always delete these questions with the trash can or edit them with the pencil. After the booking, the patron will receive a confirmation email. And again, you have the ability to add or remove information from this. It will pull information from the booking, including their name and the start time of the appointment. But I occasionally like to add in a line that says something about confirming with me or getting in touch with me in the interim via email if anything changes. Contact me at hansonwit at bc.edu if anything changes. And then you can save these changes, and again, the email will be updated. We don't need to use the Payments tab, that's a pro feature anyway, and probably not something we need access to. Under Notifications, you have the ability to change who is notified and how at certain points. For example, when a booking is made, we are emailed, the patron is emailed. If things are rescheduled, the same, we are both emailed. And you can also set up a reminder before the booking for the patron. If you click on this, you can choose using this drop-down menu, how far in advance you'd like this email to be sent. For example, one hour, 30 minutes, one day. And then you have the ability, again, to edit this email. All changes will be saved and you can see what the patron will see. Under styles and appearance, for the first 14 days you will have the ability to choose a different color for your page. But this is a pro feature and this is the default setting that you'll have access to in the future. The final feature that I'd like to point out is the ability to embed a booking button in your LibApps profile. This means the patrons will see a direct link to your research calendar on any page where your librarian box appears. For example, under my LibApps profile, in my box there is a book now button. If a patron were to click that, they would automatically be redirected to my research calendar. To add this to your LibApps box, you're going to scroll down under my profile to widgets and you're going to add other widget code. The code that you'll need under share and embed is the button code. We'll copy this code and you'll paste it right here in this other widget code box and I would recommend selecting display in page and box which means that on any page where your librarian box appears patrons will see this button. We can click check and it will add it to my librarian box.